Hi, this is a video for repairware technicians showing how to do the hot water reset on the WaterLogic cube countertop water dispenser. Uh, one of the main issues with this is when people first turn it on, they turn on the power and they turn on the hot the heater and the compressor without filling the unit with with water. So what happens is the the water tank heats up and the breaker goes because there's no water in it and the breaker shuts off before damage can be caused to the hot water tank. To do this repair, it's very straightforward. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a bucket for draining out some of the water when you fill the tank. Basically the first step is removing two screws on the back. There's one on each side and then sliding the cover backwards and lifting it up. There is a tab in the back of the cover that fits in here so you want to slide it back first without breaking it off. If you do break it off you can put that tab back in, put a piece of tape on and cover it up with this. Once the cover's off and you want to remove two screws from the top and two screws from the back on the right hand side. Again slide the cover back and that gives you access to the breaker box unit. Basically you want to push down on the box to take the slot out of the screw lift it open and you'll see in here there's two breakers that you want to hit and turn on okay and then you basically once you've hit the breakers you put the screw back in place put the side back on put the screws in put the top back on remembering there's a tab on it okay and screw them back in. From there, you want to plug it back in, make sure the water's hooked up again, and turn the red power button on, leaving the green off. At this point, you want to fill the water tanks. Some of them may be full already because it, they may have started to use it, but first you want to hit the hot water tank. You have to hold the button for three seconds because of a safety feature. Once that turns on, then you can push the dispense button and, uh, and keep pushing it until the tank fills up and then at that point water will start coming out. And you can take out about uh, you know 200 milliliters of water just to make sure it's full. Then you can do the same thing with the cold water tank. Hit the cold water and then drain until the water is full. At that point you know the tanks are full then you can come back Turn on the green power button, you'll hear the compressor turn on and that will turn the heater on. And from there, um, it usually takes about an hour in total to heat up to the point where the hot water is coming out. But usually within five minutes you can tell that it's warming up and you'll hear the compressor working for the cooling and it should be good to go.